Ignition sequence start. Three, two, one. Houston, we have a problem. First off, NASA receives $56 million a day of taxpayer money. While it may only be half of a percent of the yearly U.S. budget, they also get many other funds from donations, admissions, etc. But here is the most important fact to understand. Think of how big the music industry is worldwide. Enormous, right? Now think of the movie industry, Hollywood and global, even bigger. So where do you think the video game industry and economy rates with those two? What if I told you the video game industry is now more than the music and movie industries combined? Wow. This article states, Forget about being a movie star. Forget about becoming the next Beyonce. If you want to be rich and famous in the entertainment world, you should start playing video games right now. Gross video game sales have outweighed box office receipts for over two decades, and they surpassed home video and theater earnings combined 15 years ago. The video games industry has earned more revenue than the movie and music industries combined every year for the past eight years. That's right, video games have passed the music and movie industry 15 years ago and have earned more revenue than the movie and music industries combined every year for the past eight years. In 2018, the video game industry raked in $137 billion. That's $70 billion in mobile, $14 billion in tablet games, $56 billion in smartphone games, $33 billion in PC games, $4 billion in browser PC games, $28 billion in boxed and downloadable PC games, and over $34 billion in console video games, a total of $137 billion for that year. A huge industry compared to the movie industry, which only brought in $43 billion. Even if you include home entertainment and home theater, you still don't reach the video game industry. And music is less than half of the movie industry at only $20.5 billion. Crazy business, huh? Can you imagine one of those industries just going away because people realized it was all a fraud? Well, not really, because people know those industries are entertainment industries, selling fantasies, right? So where do you think the space industry stands compared to music, movies, and video games? What if I told you it is almost double all of them combined? Shocked? Well, you should be. The space industry was at $385 billion in 2017. Video games were at 137. Video games plus the movie industry, plus the home entertainment industry, plus the music industry don't even reach the space industry. So now you can start to see why presidents stand behind it, why it is needed, because it makes so much money and creates so many jobs. Whether anyone goes anywhere or not, as long as you believe that they have gone somewhere or eventually will, the space economy continues to grow and thrive. So where do we go, Obama? The moon? Mars? You and I know this is a false choice. We have to fix our economy. We need to close our deficits. For, but for pennies on the dollar, the space program has fueled jobs and entire industries. For pennies on the dollar, the space program has improved our lives, advanced our society, strengthened our economy, and inspired generations of Americans. And I have no doubt that NASA can continue to fulfill this role. Both of these articles claim that the space industry will soon be a trillion dollar industry. From Space News, it says, Forecasts that predict the space industry to grow to a trillion dollars by the 2040s will require the development of new markets, even with the modest annual growth rates needed to achieve the goal. A panel session on June 26th at Space Frontier Foundation's New Space 2018 conference here noted that several reports in the last year by investment banks predicted that the global space economy, currently valued at about $350 billion, could grow to $1 trillion or more in the 2040s. And from the Office of Space Commerce, it says, Today the global space economy is roughly a $400 billion economy, of which about 80% is commercial activity, and the United States claims a little less than half of that commercial activity. We used to think about space activities being concentrated in a few key areas, in Florida and California, and in this great state of Texas. But the fact is that there's not an area of this country these days that isn't deeply affected by the space industry. That's very exciting, and it is a very promising time for the space industry, as we have the convergence of leadership, finance, and technology that is creating opportunity at unprecedented speed. We used to think about space as an area where some new development was a decade away, but in fact, these days, it might be just two years or two months away. Of course, always in the future. Not here yet, but it'll be here soon. Hi, I'm George Jetson, and I live in the 21st century. That's Elroy. You have to watch him or he'll track up the ceiling. Here I'm dropping Judy off at school. Blondes away!
Oh, that's Janie, my wife. Rosie! Coming, sir. Are you starting to see NASA's role yet? Can you tell what importance NASA has? Make money, create jobs, inspire Americans, inspire the world, sell fantasy, but going anywhere isn't the important thing. Whether it's in 1980 for those around in 1960, or in 2000 for those of us who are around in 1980, or in 2020 for those people living in the year 2000, or in 2030 or 2040 for those of us living now, we will be going to Mars, we will return to the moon, we will launch a James Webb telescope, we will land and mine asteroids, we will redirect an incoming meteor, we will send another rover to Mars, we will have a colony, we will have a lunar base and launching pad, we will have a drone fly above the moons of Saturn, we just need more money and more time. We will continue to provide jobs, we will continue to inspire, we will continue to innovate, and we will continue doing what we've always done since 1958, going nowhere.